Right, people. I want to talk about two post lifts. Now, before I do, I am not a lift engineer. If you decide to go and play with a lift, you are taking your life into your own hands, and I am not responsible for anything that happens. This is my experience, what I've done. Don't copy me. Started up my own little workshop here, and I wanted a two post lift. This is what I bought. Now, it's been repainted, as you can see. I did try to clean it off so I could read the label. Um, it's supposed to be white and red, not black and no, white and black, or white, yeah. It's, it's supposed to be different colours. Now, I bought this off of eBay, used. It's old, very old. I bought it here, serviced it, did a load of maintenance to it. I now use it. It is not safety tested, but it is me that works on it. No one else. Um, I am savvy enough to know when something's wrong and when it isn't. I don't suggest you do the same. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because how these work is a bit of a... I couldn't find much on these. Um, I can find loads on hydraulic lifts, but not on screw lifts. And that's what this is, it's an electric screw lift. So. I thought I'd go over how this works. Just just for information, really. So up here, you have a 240 volt, three phase electric motor. There are a couple of belts up there connecting that to that. There's three belts one on top of the other with a three-way pulley on either end. It gears the motor down. That turns a screw which gets all the way down to the bottom of this column. If we look in here, there it is. That is the screw. So that turns that screw. Okay. That screw at the bottom here has a big bearing and there is a sprocket and then in here is a massive chain that comes all the way over to this side and connects this side to this side and then there's a tensioner. Not really a lot to see, it's just a big chain. Um, worst case, if that snaps, your car will just go a bit wonky. As long as you're paying attention, it's not going to hurt anybody or kill anybody. You've just then got the ball ache fixing the chain so that you can get the car off the lift. Um, so the chain, the maintenance on that, I mean, I, I cleaned it up, took all the old grease and dirt out, wiped the chain down, um, and then re-greased it all. That's all I did under there. These arms... Um, They've got these pins that lift up. They lock these arms in place um, in certain positions. None of these worked when I got it. I fixed all these so that they actually do work. Uh, I think one doesn't work, but all the rest of them work now. Now, behind this cover, which I've already taken the, the bolts out of, I would have showed you behind the other one, but there's loads more bolts on it and it's a bit more complicated, a bit more stuff to take off. And I actually need to check this side. Um, so let me get this cover off, and I will bring you back. There we go. And here we are. Red and white, that was the colours. Because you can see in here where it's still red. So whoever painted it did a really good job. So, what you can see here, here is the carriage. Okay, so you've got the main, screw, main lift screw. Cable, I'll explain what that's for in a minute. You've got rollers, left and right, which, because this is a uh, asymmetrical two-post lift, which means that most of the car sits over the back, hence the reason that these arms are longer. Most of the weight is supposed to sit over the back. Um, so basically a lot of the weight will come onto these rollers if the lift's set up correctly and it's on level ground. The guy I bought it off of, it wasn't set up correctly and it wasn't on level ground. But then he clearly had no interest in maintaining it or doing anything with it other than using it when he needed it. Now, 
this section here, I'll just show you it working and I'll pull that up and then we don't have to kneel down on the floor. So on here you have up, down and it's just a turn knob. And then carriage is high enough now that is just up and down on there um, if you get the phases wrong when you wire it up it'll work the wrong way around um, but you just swap the two phases around and it works then um, so here it is it's gonna get really noisy because the rain outside is hammering it down right now here is the carriage so at the top here there's the rollers you come down and there is one lift nut one safety nut. So this nut here is your main lift nut. That is what takes the weight of the car. There's one on either side and that is what screws up and down this big screw. Okay. Underneath it is what's called your safety screw, which as you can see is attached to this cable. This cable links to the up and down the other side. Um, that's what that's why this is a rotary switch because there's two cables at the top there and then there's cables that run from the top of this post all the way down and across up to the top of this post and then there's adjusters in that side which you can adjust to make it so that it turns because the cable pulls the dial when it gets to the top or the bottom to turn it off to stop you from being able to wind this down too far or up too far and there are cables in there which you can then adjust um, and it basically adjusts this um, and the tension on it to allow it to go up and down. Um, so that is what wears out on these lifts. It's these that wear. These are wearable parts. That is what would cause one of these lifts to need money spending on it, maintenance. You know, these are generally around about 100 to 150, depending on the lift, per side. So if you had to do both, you would be looking at sort of 300 quid in parts to fix this lift. I only paid 400 quid for this lift. So you can see how expensive that is. Now, that is what you have to check to make sure that this lift is safe. This here, if your lift has this nut touching that nut and it's actually using this nut to go up and down, stop using it, replace the nut, um, now the idea is that when it does that you've got all this here and the idea is that when that drops if that happens and that screw drops it grabs that cable which shuts the lift off and stops it um, and then obviously if you want to get the car off of it then you've got to come in and disconnect the cable and then you'll be able to lower it down and get the vehicle off um, and then reinstall new lift nuts. Now, the thing you have to check on these is how much play there is up and down on that. Now, obviously, depending on the lift, will depend on the spec, will depend on how much you need, how much you are allowed to go up and down. Um, this lift, I'm not sure what the lift actually is. The reason I'm actually in here today is to check this nut, because when I got the lift, I checked it. That was about a year ago, just over a year ago. I checked it, and this nut is worn. It's not worn out, but it is worn. The other side was perfectly fine, um, but I've come back in here today to check this side to see what the wear is like. Um, if it is too excessive, I will try and find a new lift nut. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the, how simple the, the operation is. Um, they are not complicated, but like I say, for some reason there is not much on the internet about these lifts. So up here, look, is your, is your main bearing for this side. There's your cable connection, and you can see where the, the lift stops. I shall wipe all that off while I'm in here. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. That's how it works. Um, 
as I say, now the lift's up. You can see those. There you go, that one's just locked in. And there'll be different places where you can lock it in. So you move that. There you go. That locks in and that makes it safe because now this arm cannot move, no matter what happens. Then on this lift, these are screw in and out. These pads are technically wrong for this lift because they fit over, but they've got a big lip on them and they're not bolted down, but they're not going to go anywhere with a car on it. So it works, it's fine. Um, there you go. That's, that's how these things work. Simple enough. Um, just thought I'd share that with you. Maybe somebody will find it useful, maybe they won't. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks anyway, guys. Catch you on the next one.